Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to another review with your boy Jamie. We are gonna do a review of the Flavia Lago Vita XO ROM. Right, this is the 2019 edition. This was aged for a minimum of 15 years from 10 different countries. They got four square in there. They got ROMs from Barbados, which is the four square. They got Dominican Republic, Guadeloupe, Guatemala, Guyana, Jamaica, Mauritius, Panama, and Trinidad right so that's like almost all the rum producers in that hemisphere all right um so we're gonna have a taste of this tasted it before a couple months ago can't really remember but i remember it was good so we're gonna get in there and do another tasting oh the cork is massive it is massive it is heavy like a solid metal with this weird speedboard thing on top there. It's cool. It's pretty cool. Do a pour. All right. Some pretty good pour right there. Let's get into the tasting notes. See the color. It's pretty dark. Pretty nice. See it's developing some legs. All right. That's what you get with a 15 year old. When you stir it around, you recognize you got some legs growing in there. All right, that's a good, a good age, like a nice deep color. Should be a natural color on this. Mm, good nose. Spicy, a little sweet. So, if you buy this on Flavia, it's like 66 bucks. They charge you like $15 for shipping, I think it was. If you're a member, they charge less, um, like 55 bucks. Um, but honestly, I remember it being a good rum. Mm. And it's a limited edition, so you're not gonna get another one of these. So I can't drink too fast. Mm. Good mouthfeel, slight burn going down, slight burn, a long burn honestly, a slight but a long finish. Um, tastes pretty good. Mm. You get some fruit flavors, you get a kind of slight molasses flavor, a little bit of sweetness. What's that? Kind of like a coconut, slight. Now, all these flavors for all you rum drinkers, you know, just, just drinking rum, you don't taste it like that. But if you just hold on to it, make it linger a bit, you get these faint flavors, right? So, you get a slight little sweetness, you get a slight little fruitiness to it. And, and I got that it was fruity. I got the long finish. Um, I got a slight sweetness to it. And that's me, right? That's my tasting also. I'm trying to develop my palate. So then what I do then is compare it to what Flavia said it tastes like, right? So looking on their side, they're saying that it, there's a honeycomb taste, there's dates, there's citrus. Didn't really get the citrus part. Um, there's dry banana. I think I got that. There's oakiness, um, vanilla. I think I definitely got the oakiness. I didn't really recall any smokiness at all um, on this, but let me do that again. I'm trying to develop my palate. Mm. I still don't get the smokiness. Get the oakiness, definitely on the smell, get the oakiness. I don't know. Nuttiness, I don't really get, but I do get, you know, where they say dates, kind of like that fruity flavor, um, the honeycomb, more that sweet flavor. It's one of my, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a contender. It's really a good rum, really a good rum that I think I did a good mixing with this. 
um, definitely something that you know everyone should try. Wow. This is the success of the 2018 rum that they did. This one definitely 15 year old minimum, 24 year maximum, um, aging oak, and then finished up in ex Merlot, Cabernet, Sherry Cast. Definitely, like it's a winner. CEP 50 something bucks. Problems with shipping though, but definitely a great tasting rum. And I'm gonna sip slow, you know, maybe I pour too much. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good day. Thanks for checking in. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how you like this rum. Tell me if you tried it before, right? So, check in and cheers. Till next time.